In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate OESDI and HI taxes for an employee. So the OESDI and HI come from the Federal Insurance Contributions Act, or FICA, which was enacted in 1935. Um, both taxes, OESDI and HI, are taxes paid by both employees and employers. So right now, uh, the tax rate for OASDI is 6.2% for both the employer and the employee, and for HI, it's 1.45%. So OASDI stands for Old Age and Survivor's Disability Insurance, which you've probably seen it called more um, familiarly is Social Security. And HI stands for Hospital Insurance, or what we familiarly call it Medicare. So again, OASDI, the rates are 6.2% for both the employee and the employer. In 2013, um, the amount of wages that was taxable for OASDI was 113,700. For uh, 2014, it's 117,000. For 2015, I'm sure it will go up. So it pretty much goes up every year. Um, so that means that uh, in 2013, if you made 113701 that one extra dollar was not um, taxed for OASDI. Um, HI, or Medicare, wages never cap. So since there's no ceiling, employers compute the HI tax on the full amount of wages. Okay. So let's look at an example. Let's say we're paid $1,500 a week. Okay. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate OESDI first. So we'll take 1,500. We're going to assume that, that this person has not met the 113,700 cap. So 1,500 times 6.2% is going to be $93. For HI, let's say that they also all the wages are going to be taxable, and then we're going to multiply that by the 1.45%, and that gives us 21.75 or 21.75. Okay, so this would be for the the employee would have this amount taken out of their paychecks, and then the employer would grab out of his own pocket. Again, the 6.2% is the same, so 93 in HI, he'd have to pull out 21.75 out of his pocket for that. So let's look at an example where we where we do have to worry about the cap. So here we've got Tamara earns $138,000 a year and is paid semi-monthly on the 15th and the 30th. Determine FICA for the October 30th payroll. So first, let's just figure out how many pay periods has she had so far before this October 30th payroll. So um, January through September, she was paid two um, pay two times those months, so 9 times 2 is 18, and then she's already been paid on October 15th, right? So we'll count one more. So, so far she's been paid, she's had 19 pay periods. So let's figure out what her semi-monthly gross pay has been those 19 pay periods. So if we know her annual pay, 138,000, we'll divide that by how many pay periods uh, are in a semi-monthly year, that would be 24, so 138,000 divided by 24 is 57.50. So, so far, let's see what she's been paid. So, so far she has gotten paid 57.50 19 times, right? So 57.50 times 19 is going to give us 109.250. So that's how much, that is her um, cumulative, cumulative pay so far this year. Now let's figure out what she's going to, what's her cumulative pay going to be after this October 30th payroll. She's going to get paid again, 57.50, so we add that to what she's already been paid, and we get a total of 115000 Okay, so that, remember, for us, for our textbook, we're using the 2013 numbers, so our cap for Social Security is 113,700. Well, this cap, this 115,000 is over that cap, so we are over the cap. So let's figure out how much of this 5750 that they're going to get paid this period is um, going to be taxable. So to do that, 
let's figure out our OSDI. We'll take the cap, what would ever get taxed, and we're going to subtract out what they've gotten paid so far. All of that was taxable, right, because we hadn't met the cap yet. So 113700 minus 109250 gives us 4450 so that means that of this 5750 that she's going to get paid this period, only 4450 is taxable for OASDI. That puts us up to our cap of 113700 cumulative pay. So 4450 times 6.2% is going to give us 275.90. Now, how much is taxable for HI? There is no cap, so the whole pay of 5750 is going to be taxable for that, and of course our, H, uh, our HI tax rate is 1.45%, or, um, and if you do the math there, 8338. Okay, so that's how much the employee is going to get taxed on, and the employer is going to get taxed on the same amount. Okay, the employee will have to, will have 275.90 withheld from their paycheck, and uh, also 83.38, and the employer will have to pull out of their own pocket 275.90 for OSDI and 83.38. Okay. All right. Let's look at one more example. Ahmed earns 175,000 a year and is paid the first of every month. Determine FICA for the August 1st payroll. So, how many pay periods have they has he been paid so far? January through July, right? So seven pay periods so far. Now he's going to, he's about to get his eighth pay period. What's his monthly gross pay? So we take his annual pay, and he's paid monthly. So how many pay periods are in a year? Twelve. So 175,000 divided by 12 gives me 14,588 and 33 cents. Okay. So how much has he already been paid this year before this payroll? Well, we take that number, and we're going to multiply it by the seven pay periods he's already had. And so that gives us a total of $102,083.31. Has he met the cap so far? No. Nope. Is he going to meet it this time? Probably. We add another, we add this eighth payroll, pay, pay roll in. So $102,083.31 that he's already been paid, plus his August 1st payroll of $14,583.33, gives me 116,666.64. Is that over the cap of 113.7? Yeah, so that's over the cap. All right, so now what we need to do is figure out how much is going to be taxed for OASDI. So what we'll do is we'll take how much would ever be taxed, 113,700, and subtract out what he's already been paid, 102,083.31. When we do that, we get how much is left to be taxed, and that's 11616169 So of this amount that he's getting um, paid on August 1st, 14588.33, only 11616169 is going to be taxable for OESDI. So we'll multiply that by uh, our tax rate of 6.2% or 0 0.062, and we get 720 23. So that means for the employee, we're going to have be taxed. Um, the employee is going to be taxed 72023. That's going to be withheld from his paycheck. And then the employer is going to have to pull out of his own pocket $720.23. So how much is going to be taxed for HI? The full amount, which is the full amount of the August 1st paycheck, was $14,583. 33, we multiply that by 1.45% uh, or 0 0.0145. And so therefore, our tax for HI is going to be $211.46. So that would be the amount for the employee and the employer. So our total FICA, we would just add our OASDI and our HI together. So that would be, let's see. Uh, we've got 211.46 plus our 720.23. And so that gives us 931.69.